Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. In order to protect patient privacy and adhere to federal law, your medical practice must be HIPAA and OIG compliant. The requirements for compliance are extensive, which is why it's important to create and administer an effective compliance program or plan to protect your practice. Both OIG and HIPAA offer downloadable compliance forms on their respective websites in order to help healthcare professionals develop and monitor internal adherence to the required guidelines. But reviewing compliance requirements is not enough. In order to maintain HIPAA and OIG compliancy, your practice must create a comprehensive plan that includes the following action steps. Conduct internal audits of current privacy-related procedures. Develop and implement new compliance policies. Designate a dedicated compliance officer on your staff. Train your staff on HIPAA and OIG compliancy requirements. Create systems to address offenses and any subsequent disciplinary actions that may be required. HIPAA and OIG compliancy is required by federal law, so it's important that your practice prepares a thorough examination of current procedures and documents any needed adjustments by following a complete compliance plan. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. A Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, commonly referred to as HIPAA, sets forth policies that protect the way patients' medical information is stored and shared. Federal law requires your medical practice to be HIPAA compliant. This means that the way you protect patients' medical records and other information adheres to HIPAA standards. In order to be HIPAA compliant, you must Analyze the vulnerability of patients' electronic medical records that are stored at your office or off-site. Make sure that all protected health information, or PHI, is encrypted. Create and implement policies to address PHI that has been compromised, stolen, or misplaced. Only work with partners and vendors that can assure the security of your patient's information. Give patients electronic access to their medical records within 30 days of any request. Protect patient information from insurance providers if procedures are paid for out of pocket. Share your full privacy policy with patients via individual communications and by publicly posting the policy in your office and on your website. To check your practice's policies against HIPAA compliancy requirements, visit www.cms.gov. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. OSHA, or the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, is a government agency that provides protective provisions for workers within their work environments. Being OSHA compliant means establishing a safe work environment that meets OSHA's guidelines. Not only does compliancy protect you and your employees from work-related injuries, it greatly reduces the instances of costly workers' compensation payouts and lawsuits. In order to become OSHA compliant, simply follow these seven steps. 1. Educate your staff about potentially hazardous materials and create a preventative action plan for each hazardous substance in your practice. 2. Develop and distribute an emergency plan that directs employees in the case of injury, national disaster, or other emergency. 3. Create an evacuation plan in case of fire and familiarize your staff with exit routes. 4. Make sure your practice has the appropriate number of fire exits as required by OSHA. 5. Follow OSHA guidelines for hallway obstructions, slippery floors, workplace clutter, and potential hazards like ladders. 6. Make sure non-medical staff are trained in basic first aid and know the location of your office's first aid kits. 7. Stay up to date with changes in OSHA requirements and post any updates in a highly visible area of your practice. By following this 7-step system, your medical practice will remain OSHA compliant while creating a safe, secure workplace for your employees. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. 
OIG compliance refers to the various laws set forth by the Office of the Inspector General in order to protect patients from health care related abuse and fraud. In order to be OIG compliant, your office must adhere to the requirements and statutes set forth by the OIG that are applicable to your type of medical practice. While the guidelines set forth by the OIG are voluntary, the various laws and statutes they address must be followed by all practicing physicians who accept Medicare and Medicaid. Following the OIG's guidelines will help protect your practice and your patients from medical fraud. Adopting an OIG compliance program within your practice demonstrates that you're making an effort to adhere to all rules and regulations set forth by the government. Compliant practices may be protected in the case of accidental erroneous billing and fraudulent claims. Compliant practices are also less likely to be audited and singled out for kickback violations. There are no hard and fast rules to becoming OIG compliant since every medical practice is different. The OIG recommends you follow their seven steps to compliance which can be accessed at www.oig.hhs.gov. Remember to review the compliancy requirements for your particular type of medical practice and to use those requirements as a guideline for developing your own comprehensive OIG compliancy plan. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Laboratory testing is an important part of the daily operations of any medical practice. It helps monitor patient health, detect and prevent disease, and allows physicians to obtain results quickly and accurately. Whether you have an on-site lab or work with an off-site testing facility, it's important that your lab be CLIA certified. CLIA or Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments are a series of government sanctioned amendments that regulate lab testing in the United States. In order to receive payment from Medicare and Medicaid, your testing facility must be CLIA certified. The first step to becoming CLIA certified is to fill out form CMS 116, which can be accessed by visiting cms.gov. This form will ask a variety of questions about your lab, its processes and operations, and will make a determination as to what fees are owed depending on your answers. Your lab or the lab you work with must be certified by your state as well as by the federal government. Be sure to verify the certification of any lab you plan on working with and to start the certification process for your own lab at least several months before you open your medical practice. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the DoctorsBusinessNetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.